Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to cover trying to start the old motor home here, the Beaver, on a really cold day. As you'll see, had some issues. Uh, we've been experiencing some really cold temperatures along the Gulf Coast. We're not used to this. The, uh, you know, our lows are usually 40s, 50s, but uh, for like three or four days now, we've had temperatures in the teens uh, and lower 20s, so we're not used to that. And due to some poor maintenance on my part, I had some issues. You'll see in the video, so stay tuned. Hmm. Interesting. Brakes pushed. Nothing. Let's go try it from the back. I guess I'm going to chase that problem down. What's your problem? All right, when it gets a little warmer, I'm going to chase this down, I guess. Hmm, interesting. What am I missing here? All right, so the generator's turning over. Let's let it run for a little bit. Engine preheat. Here's the task at hand. The battery's too low to start the coach. So I'm gonna pull this out and check the water in it and then put it on the charger. It's about 19, 18, 19 degrees outside. So a little, little chilly. We've got our distilled water. And this is another project I wanna finish. Put this in here where it's on the rails higher. Hang on, I want to have to pause the video. Let's see, let's do it this way. see there. I like to keep my some distilled water in a uh, bottle like this. Makes it a lot easier for filling. So let's check our water levels. Alright, let's go. Too low. Well, that one. This is a brand new battery. Just put it in about two months ago. Hopefully, it run it too low of water. I 
to go fill my bottle up again. Fill that one too. Whew. All right, let me go refill my water bottle. All right, I'm back with the, some more water. Hopefully, you can see where this camera's aimed. Can't tell. Let's put it right there. May not be able to see. That's what you get with a rookie. Open that top one. Did I mention it? it's cold? We ain't used to this in the south. I don't know if it's cold as a well digger's bud or not. I don't know any well diggers. Don't know if I touched their bud if I did, but I'll take the weatherman's word for it. Hopefully you can see, but you get the idea, just putting water in a battery, distilled water. I'll do some googling and see how often you should check this. I really don't know. I just usually just uh, check them throughout the year, but I'll find out and I'll maybe put it at the bottom of the screen or something, or you can Google it for yourself. All right, full, full, full. Let's put the caps back on. Let's do the hard ones first. That one's in. One's in. Second hardest one is right here. That one's in. That one's in. I'm sure this battery acid will do a number on these gloves. And that one's in. Okay. So we used. So we used one bottle of this and almost two bottles. So. Uh, uh, 16, I think that's uh, 16, 32 ounces. Uh, yeah, so a little dry. I should have uh, checked it sooner. This little thing here is just a little cheap battery. I bought some nicer ones. I was going to run wires from here all the way up to the inside so I could keep an eye out without having to open this up. We're at 12 one. That should be 12 eight. What's wrong with these in here? This is my house batteries. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's come. They're just, they're just clamped on there. They're not installed. 13.8, that one's good. So my solar panel, 
my solar panels I got on top come down and they charge the house batteries. So I think what I'll do is order me some more solar panels and another charge controller and bring that down and probably get me some 180 watt ones, some big ones, maybe two of those or three of those and charge these and take the 200 amps or whatever they are I've got now and run those down here to my starting battery so I, I've got them always charged, they're always charging. My inverter should be charging this so I want to check it and see either I don't have something set right or my inverter's bad. I've got another brand new one that the owner, that the guy I bought the home, motor home from gave me. So it may be time to swap it out, but uh, we'll wait till it gets warmer to check all that. So let's hook up a battery charger. Hook up my leads first. I'm going to do this one-handed. Sorry for the shaking. The ground, that looked like it sparked. Interesting. So then, I come out here, away from the batteries, and hook it up and hope for the best. So, let's see what we got here. We got it on charging. We're just going to let it slow charge since it was low of water. And we'll check that later. Put that up there. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Right there. Put this under here. Get my phone so I can be looking for it later. Alright, we'll check on it later. So, uh, see you. See how we look. It's at 13.6. Let's charge it. Okay, it's been on the charger for about 24 hours. And it's warmed up. It's probably 35, 36. Let's see what we've got here. Wow, 15. That's not good. Well, now let's start it up. Okay, that's good. Oh, started, but it's loping. Plug all this stuff. There we go. 13.7. That's more like it. It's starting to run a lot better. All right, that's a good deal. Thirteen eight, thirteen seven. Let me put all this stuff back together.
accessories. Water.